we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Father of blessings, anyone can receive the help at dawn. May I be wise and, re and receive this promise. You've told us to receive blessings, but I go the way of ruin. Help me to awaken from this simplicity. Even now am I living in darkness. Even now do I have the thoughts of what a waste. So I'm a slave of Satan. Am I grumbling and complaining because things aren't happening according to my greed? And I'm a slave of the devil. Help us to awaken. Help us to plant blessings. To give profit to others. To be a patriot to our country. To have blessings in our late age. To give profit to others so that we can pass blessings down to my children. We believe that we will reap according to what we sow. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. Romans chapter 5, verse 19. Let's find that. So we have to, really we have to look at it all, but it's like a chess piece, you know, you need to have one move to see it all. So like Jesus, day and night for three years. So Busan First Church, we eat the word day and night. You know, you don't know right now. If you stare at a bean sprout and you measure it, you can't see that it's growing. But after one month, it's grown a lot. It's the same. If you do according to the word, it's God who takes care of it. So right now you don't know whether you're growing or not. But three times a day, if you're watered, you will grow. And then once you grow, you can work. So how thankful is this? Even if you want to, if the pastor in front of you is fake, then it won't work. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15, Matthew chapter 10 verse 24. You only do as well as the pastor in front of you. So if the pastor has the worthiness from God, what is that, that worthiness? It's knowledge and understanding. But only the wise can speak knowledge. Not all thoughts are bring about ruin. The thoughts inside of Christ where God watches over my thoughts and my heart. Philippians chapter 4 verse 7. They're okay, but the thoughts outside of Christ will bring about ruin. Outside of Christ is always about boasting of my own name. You want to boast of your name. You scorn God's word, so you cannot, you cannot say what Bible verse. You know, if there's a phone call without a phone number, that's a demon. That's not a man. So, if you cannot say the Bible verse, then you're a demon. That means you can't make a phone call, yet you pretend you can. So that's, what's a, that's what a fake is. God has said that you need the Bible verse because that's where wisdom is, the most important thing. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 12. So you need to discern. Romans chapter 5 verse 18. So then, as through one transgression there resulted condemnation to all men. So this transgression is the transgression of Adam. So that means all men have received condemnation. Even so, through one act of righteousness, so those who live by Christ, by the blood of Christ you become righteous. Those actions, who is that? That is Christ. So it's through Christ there resulted justification of life to all men. So, your, so righteous, righteousness is where your actions, it's gone to actions, and that's how it's life to all men. So verse 19, for it's through the one man's disobedience. So 
the many were made sinners. So obedience is faith. So it's because Adam disobeyed just one thing. It's the same with us. As soon as you disobey one thing, you're finished. So you're a fake if you say, but I've obeyed many, it's just one that I didn't disobey. It's by one disobedience that everything is ended. So, for as through the one man's disobedience, the many were made sinners. Even so, through the obedience of the one. So Jesus Christ came and he obeyed. The many will be made righteous. Philippians chapter 3 verse 9. Verse 20, the law came in so that the transgression would increase. So the 66 books of the Bible teaches us our sins, but where sin increased, grace abounded all the more. So you have to repent of many sins to have much grace. So if you only say, I've only got a little bit of sin, that means you only receive a little bit of grace. So how much grace do you have to receive until you become righteous, until you are without sin? How can we be without sin? And that's why love is the fulfillment of the law, Romans chapter 13, verse 10. So if you have love, that is to love God and to love your neighbor, that is the commandment. So if you say you have a Christian life or you're a pastor without the commandment, a a denomination, whichever way you look, 100% you will go to hell. They do not have the Holy Spirit, they only have demons. Verse 21, so that as sin reigned in death, so if you have sin, then you even so, so that means you are a king going to a king of hell so what do you do you condemn others you backbite others you hinder those who are trying to do well it's those who are to be ruined that hinder if if you read acts chapter 20 the gospel is to is to speak those things that give profit to anyone wherever you are who to whoever love is to give profit to others but do you do that I myself can't do well so, and so how can I share with others if my nose is runny how can I um, wipe someone else's nose so that's why starting from you you need to love God that's when you can truly love your neighbor that's 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 22 so then as sin reigned in death even so grace would reign through righteousness so you have to receive grace to become righteous so what is righteousness it's to receive grace so how do you become righteous Philippians chapter 3 verse 9 it's through Christ by the blood of Christ when you do four step repentance that's when you become righteous that's when you receive grace grace is to be righteous so if you're asked what is righteousness you say something else when you are forgiven of sins by four step repentance you become righteous being righteous is to receive grace to receive grace is to be righteous so if you do not even receive grace and you say you're righteous that's a fake isn't this our men so many people say they believe in Jesus. You see those people who go to fake churches. They say, please receive grace. And they say, do you know how much grace we received? You know, I went to a revival where this, this pastor with a doctorate, you know, he said all these things. There's not one drop of repentance. And they say they received grace. Do you know how much they lie? Who is that? That's you and me. So those people who've learnt these worldly learning, what what is the world? It's only it's only when you realise something and it has to be, and only when it is right with your logic, that's when you say amen. That's fake. So if it's not right with what you think, you don't say amen. But God, He can make what is isn't what is dead to be alive Romans chapter 4 verse 17 how how can he make what so, something that isn't to be that's why he's almighty how can he make what's dead to be alive so why is it that your problems aren't being solved God's answer is his miracles are, are beyond 
worldly logic, but what you've paid money to learn are all lies. We learned that butterflies seek flowers. That's a, that's a lie. It's because they smell the nectar inside. But even now, that's what we pay money to learn, these lies. And so, even when you get to university, doctorate, all you've done is stored up so many lies. And then you think that you're clever and you deceive yourself. That's how stupid you are. These are the learned people. So God says 100% they will be ruined. They ruin themselves, their household, and the country. So you look at who ruins the country. It's those who have studied, those with learning. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 19 to 20. Yet they do not understand. It is so pitiful. That learning is to be used for evangelism. But you need that for beasts who are perishing. But for a man of honor, you don't need that. So they say Korea doesn't have natural resources. resources. But if you have God's wisdom and knowledge, then you become strong and powerful. You know, these beasts that perish that don't come here and eat this, you know, they are so cursed. But you can't discern this. There are so many fakes here. But they don't know how to eat true food. They don't know what grace is. What's the difference between grace and favor? And yet you expect to receive blessings. So you put you know you put soup on a plate and then you put you know your steak in a bowl that's what you're doing you don't know whether they're outer clothes or inner clothes you just wear anything so then how can you act like a man why is it that you don't receive blessings even though I say all these things you still don't know If you wear your clothes inside out, people think that you're crazy. You know, if it gets any worse, they put you into a mental institution. Why live like that? You've come here at dawn to receive help. You know, if they're, if they're saying, if, if you're being told to that you're getting soup and you bring a plate, then you're the one that goes hungry. And then you complain that you're not receiving blessings. God says he's already put the blessings in front of you to be healed of your disease, to, to fix your personality, material blessings, fame. Everything has been put in front of you. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 15. But why is it that you can't receive it? And then you leave empty handed and make God's word a lie. You need to receive and be a witness. You need to be a witness in all things. At this dawn, let's receive this blessing. Luke chapter 24 verse 48. So receiving that is grace. How? When you give up many sins, that's when you receive a lot of grace. Let's find Luke chapter 1 verse 28. What is grace? It's to receive answers. It's not God being with you, it's the Lord being with you. Does, is God with us or not? He's not with us direct, directly. There has to be something in between, a mediator. The Lord is with us. So when the mediator is in between, it's the Lord who gives us answers. So grace is to repent. It's to do four-step repentance and become righteous. We just read that. And to know, not know that and you say that you're a pastor, there's so many fakes. It is so shocking. Because you went to a church like that, of course you didn't do well. The longer you went to places like that, the more you're hardened. Who is the pastor in front of you? And what kind of person do you have to become? You only do as well as the pastor in front of you. Matthew chapter 10 verse 24. So if the pastor is going to hell, you will all go to hell too. Matthew chapter 15 verse 14. So who is the pastor? You have to have 
wisdom and understanding to give profit to others. So when can you teach others? Only the wise, only the preacher has knowledge to evangelize to others. Proverbs chapter 12 verse 9. And so he meditates. Do you know this level of our country? Supposedly the the best church in Korea. They they came out on TV saying, Oh, we we meditate you know, three, four hours a day. So then other fake churches they follow that. You know, the fact that we're like this, that's why Korea has problems. This meditation to repent, to become righteous. You have to do this 24 hours a day. But then, if you don't even do that, and on top of that, you you slander others, you're asking for the death penalty. That's what a fornication does. So, if we realize the word properly, you can't sleep. Why? If you are even a little bit of a patriot, if you are a correct man, your thoughts, your actions are different. A, pe a beast acts like a beast. So here that's why it talks about your actions. Romans chapter 5. It's talking about the acts of righteousness, not to be righteous. Because after being righteous, you can still depart. If after become righteous, if you don't act godly, then he won't choose you. He won't give you faith. You know, these liars who say they're chosen people. You know, they say because Jesus is a king, they're kings too. You know, the, they're, they're wrong in thinking there's only one king. God says, everything's been prepared and is put in front of you, but the problem is you're not receiving grace. Let's read it together. Luke chapter 1, verse 28. Amen. So, I, have you received grace or not? Are you at peace? If you're not at peace, look at your face. You're filled with grumbling and complaining. Your face is not being released. Why not? Because you haven't received grace. So what is receiving grace? It is to become righteous. We read in Romans chapter 5, verse 20. So let's find John chapter 5, verse 17. This happens by Christ. So if you receive grace, who is with you? You know, our country is in a really serious time. More and more they're going to realize without God's grace, nothing will work out. If you don't receive grace, then you say, oh, I'm upset. Oh, I want to take revenge. If you don't have thanksgiving, you say, what a waste. Someone who says it's a waste and they don't... You know, if you have a bucket of peanuts, oh, if we put bury this in the ground, then it will all rot. But in the autumn, then there'll be more than 30-fold. Let's just eat it now. Those alley cats... They, when when they meet up, all they think about is eating now. Oh, we're hungry now. How can we wait to the autumn? And so they don't plant anything. So they don't have any Thanksgiving. When autumn comes, there's nothing for them to reap. So that alley cat that only knows that one meal in front of them. You look at the way Korea does construction. They they do they they build a road and then one month later they pull it up again. Even now they're doing that and so they they waste the country's taxes. You know, we're a small country. If it was a big country, you could say, "Oh, it's because they're so big. That's why you do do things like that." But if you do not revive your conscien conscience, if you do not change your inside and become a man, you're rotten. I mean, what times are we living in that people are still doing that? So, what should we be doing? Oh, 
we need to change you know the person directing well they they too are an alley cat so you have to say you have to revive your conscience so each department whether it be science or education they have to do the right thing so what are we doing here how to become a man that's why other other religions they don't work but even churches they don't what is grace it's to be at peace to have all joy and happiness it's where the Lord is with you so if the Lord is with you you receive answers you don't receive answers from God but when you say Lord you receive answers so the so grace is the Lord being with you so that you receive answers so you have to confess many sins Romans chapter 5 verse 20 John chapter 1 verse 17 let's find Ephesians chapter 4 verse 7 so you come to Puzan First Church you say you do forced repentance even though you've given so much of this word the most important thing is to receive grace it's to change from a slave of sin to a slave of righteousness that's what forced step repentance is but you're not even doing this and all you do is say you're not doing well God gives everything to the righteous Proverbs chapter 10 verse 24 why are you saying that you're not doing well why is it that always we go to the answer of Proverbs because someone with God's wisdom and understanding speaks of the Proverbs so you say Amen to one verse but then tomorrow you you say no men if you do something one thing properly but you're so diluted even if you've just woken up and you've got sleep in your eyes God still gives you blessings but you you don't receive you know people who believe in Jesus you can be the most lazy and yet receive the best he still gives as long as we receive grace as long as you say I am a sinner I'm a bad person but you don't even do that you don't even lift a finger even if you haven't washed your face you've got sleep in your eyes all you have to do is repent why can't you do something this good you know there are people who crack the ice and wash themselves in that icy water and they still can't receive blessings you know they 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 run around you know their temple and and they have to you know beat drums and all we have to do is say I'm so evil I'm you know I'm such a sinner even if you did it still we can do well let's say to the person next to us still we can do well still we can do well let's receive blessings at dawn still we can do well so after we do well not only do we save our country we save the world so through your mouth God wants to witness that he is living all we have to do is obey there's nothing to research or find out let's do well what have we found Ephesians chapter 4 verse 7 let's read it together but to each one of us grace was given according to the measure of Christ's gift amen so grace is by the blood of Christ God gives us the gift of faith the gift of the Holy Spirit everything is given as a gift so as much as you use the blood of Christ that's that's what he gives so if we receive grace the Lord is with me if we receive grace what is your heart like you have all peace you have all joy so by Christ we receive the gift of faith faith is all joy and all peace so why is it that you haven't received and your face is like that let's have a look at the person next to us look at their face don't look at the sleep in their eyes just see if they're smiling or not that person's deliberately trying not to smile you know he's being very contrary still we can do well so from last night to this dawn 
sins from our heart and flesh have flowed out. You know, you're told to do forced repentance. And you say, oh, but I washed the dishes last night. Why would you be told to do it again? Because the cockroaches, the the mice have, have you know, crawled all over it. You know, dust has come out of it. So if you eat that, then you'll die. So repentance is something we have to do continuously. How much does God love us that he tells us to pray without ceasing? That's one Thessalonians. Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17 why does he say that because he hates us no because he loves us so much but we don't understand this and we say why is he making this such a headache for us to pray all the time if you walk with the Lord then everything you want you receive so if I say oh receive everything you want you say amen but if I say pray without ceasing then you don't say it in other words you have greed inside of your heart it's your stubbornness, your your evil thoughts that are controlling over you. We have to receive grace. What is grace? Grace and favor is different. What is grace? It's to it's to become righteous by the blood of Christ. What happens when when you receive grace? The Lord is with you, so that you're at peace. You're overflowing with joy. Every dawn, let's make this mine and fix our destiny. Let's do well. God hears the prayer of the righteous. Our children will do well. Our country will do well. By becoming righteous, let's walk with the Lord. It's only by Christ that we receive grace. Let's all pray. Lord, in our lives, when problems come, it's God's voice of saying, receive grace. Help us to wash by the blood of Christ so that that problem becomes the Lord, changes to the Lord, where you say, receive blessings, where we receive all joy and peace. May our ears be opened. We believe that we have received the best of blessings. Every time we have problems, by forced at repentance, we believe that we will change them to blessings. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen.